Now it's time to meet an artist from the local scene. The name Fluvog is often attached to a conversation involving shoes in our city. But it doesn't have to be. That's about to change, because up next we meet a man whose name is the same, but his passion is different. Jonathan Fluvog has a passion, but don't make assumptions based on his name. This Fluvog is the man behind the sound, not the shoe. They always ask, so why didn't you go into the family business then if, you were, if you're doing this? And I, my answer is really, the family business was all around me and I've always been fiercely independent. So I wanted to do something on my own success level without having to rely on my dad or rely on my mom or rely on anyone. Son of shoe designer John Fluvog, Jonathan gave shoemaking a try for about a year. But when making clogs didn't pan out, he followed his dream and opened Vogueville Recording. Head over heels with your head in the sand. In the studio? Well, I'd say he's pretty demanding, but <laughs> I mean, I've learned a lot. We've all learned a lot. I'm, I'm really lucky. Okay, so now let's try that again. That was perfect, but don't rush it. Let's slow it down a little bit as well. He's also manager of local band, The Light Machines. I help them revamp their songs, really work their style, um, help them to create an image and a marketing plan and, and just really be a solid entity. If I could know my name. You know, that sort of yeah. thing. Big names have recorded here, Matthew Good, Chaos, but you'll never hear him name drop. It's really hard to ex actually explain to a lot of people, they go, what do you mean you're not toting the names? Are you, are you nuts? And I think it stems from having a famous dad and having a famous mom as well. I don't feel that the names validate you. I feel like the good work you do validates you. His focus has now shifted on the local scene. But I say go and pick your holes out and stop you. I mean, we were kind of loosey-goosey before, but he's brought us together and he's the glue to the band and he's given us so much knowledge about the music industry and how to perform, how to record. Perfect! Sounded really good. He hopes to bring local music out in an upcoming event called Day and Night, an event to get bands like the Light Machines more exposure. And at the end of every session, this Fluvog feels good about his contribution to the music community. The studio is not the star. The client's the star. When people come to the studio, they're always saying, you know, it's, it's so vibey and homey and it's just a great environment. We feel like you can make it our own. And then you hear the work that comes out of it getting recognized. It's a, just, it's a really good feeling. She don't, she don't, she don't. In Port Coquitlam, I'm Melanie Panetta for The Express. The Light Machines will be performing as part of Vogueville's Day and Night Festival on February 19th at the Vancouver Alpin Club. You can get more information at Jonathan's website. And you're watching